Watching football can be thrilling and scary at the same time, especially when those players take vicious hits. That is why the NFL is turning to Vanderbilt and a few other schools to help them better understand head injuries. New Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how. So that's my team. Most of my lineups probably injured, <laughs> injured most games, so yeah, it's hard. <laughs> In the world of fantasy football, if they're not available to play, it's kind of hard. It's been a tough season for Nick Bauer when it comes to injuries. Pretty much every week I'll have at least a few players who are like questionable to play. But sometimes it's easy to forget that fantasy headaches represent real world injuries. Adams will be tackled. It's a quandary the NFL has been facing for years. How do you keep the spirit of the game while also keeping players safe from concussions and permanent brain damage? This is something that we don't know a lot about, right? Which is where Vanderbilt neuropsychologist Dr. Douglas Terry comes in. They look predominantly like normal mouth guards. But inside these mouth guards are tiny sensors. That sensor collects all of this uh, biological and kinematic data from head impacts that the player sustains. And when they're connected to the internet, they paint a colorful picture. Level of force, the level of acceleration. Of some of the head injuries that football players can sustain. Where the hits tended to come from. So it seems like this person tends to be getting hit more so on the left side of his helmet. Which is why the NFL has recruited Vanderbilt and seven other university football teams to have some of their players wear these mouth guards during practices with contact and actual games. Each of these columns are different hits. Over the course of this season and beyond, they'll continue to collect data. We see that this one player took 45 impacts that specific day. With the hopes that eventually they'll be able to come up with a roadmap for the future. Really to try to understand where we can um, intervene in this pathway, whether that be with equipment, with changes in rules, and a variety of other things that will uh, make it inherently safer for youth and young adults. And one day this technology could go way beyond brain studies. If the data leads to something, to say, all right, can this be used in a real-time way? But in the meantime, Nick just hopes his players can stay healthy. Anything that can help is, is really good. A current fantasy that could one day come true. With photojournalist Catherine Stewart, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. As the mom of two little football players, I'm glad to see this work underway. Four NFL teams are also participating in this study. 40 members of the Vanderbilt squad have been wearing the smart mouth guard since the beginning of this season.